Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting So today I thought we'd just have a little play, nice quick video You can see I've got grubby already um, Just going to work in the art journal that we did the other day um, Just do a few little bits and pieces in here um, This page I've just covered over with gesso because I had little flowers on there um, But I didn't like them so I went over with gesso And then I've just scratched in the gesso do what makes you happy so I've just scratched that in there you can sort of see it in there um, which I love it's sort of dry a little little bit damp um, but that's okay so what I thought we would do um, just a nice quick one I've got this lovely little pocket here so I thought I'd make like a little booklet to go in there and maybe do something on the outside of this page so I'm just going to pop that up here now what I've done I've started one here um, it's just a piece of the Amazon packaging and I've um, got stencil, I stenciled over the top of it um, and then I've just sort of like collaged the back or the inside um, and then I've gone over here with some paints now this is acrylic paint now what I've done with the acrylic paints I've popped them into little these are my little glue bottles but I thought I would um, pop some acrylic paint in there now I did have my gesso, this is black gesso, I put it in here but the nozzle was just a little bit too big so I popped it into this one and I've just, it's just my acrylic paint just like this which I popped into there um, so to do it, did I have any more bottles here? I don't think I did um, but all as I did, I opened it up, I squeezed the bottle, popped that on top and as I squeeze this one I let my fingers go and it sort of like sucks in the paint the same as you would do with your glue bottle because um, you can see that's my glue one there so I thought I'd just pop some paint in here and do some drawing so doodle was acrylic paint and I just think it looks really good um, so something a little bit different on there I popped a little sequin on the top as well just while the paint was wet now these are going to take a little while to um, dry um, I would give them at least an hour or so to dry and then I'm going to make some like this and then I think maybe tomorrow I'll do another video and I think we're just so around the outside I just think they look really nice so they're just little pages really super simple um, so I'm going to just pop these to the side for a second now I'm going to just use this up because I want to use this up because I want to um, start making some more jelly prints but I need to use up what I've got really first before I do too many now I have cut these or torn these I'm going to do a few more I've got some pink I've just got my ruler like this so I'm just going to go by this sort of size maybe a little bit tiny bit thinner I don't want to be too big in that um, little pocket because the pocket's not very big so like that so just pull those and then just fold that what do you reckon is that going to be that should be all right it doesn't matter if it sticks out so that will be okay so if you've got jelly prints or if you don't have jelly prints just use you know if you did some painting like you did last week um was it last week week before i can't remember now um you can use those just some lovely bits so i'm not going to do too many because i don't have a huge amount of time because we are it's sunday isn't it so we are going out to lunch in a minute well sort of a late lunch today so i'm looking forward to that so that's that one so i have got one two i got four so let's just do these four and all I'm going to do, I wasn't quite sure, I was thinking about putting that on top of that one actually. Like that, so it sort of opens out. I might glue that on and then just fold that up. Shall I do that? Where's my glue stick? So just a little bit of gluing and then what we can do, by tomorrow actually, I'm going to glue all of this on and by tomorrow these will be dry so I can sew over the top so I don't know whether you saw my video yesterday about sewing on paper um, just a real basic sort of video but it showed you how I sew on paper 
because I know it's sometimes a little bit scary to get your sewing machine out and sew on paper but it's fine it's all good which way around should we have it this way here we go fab there you go that's a nice one and then we can just do some doodling on there so let's just pop that there and on this one I'm just going to just glue on some book paper like this quite simple I'm going to stick that like this and then this little bit because it's sticky I'm going to just take a piece of this and glue this on the top however it will go let's just glue that lovely perfect there we go then we're not going to have glue everywhere what should we have should we have we don't want the same piece let's have a little bit of this purple on there oops let's take this a little bit off glue on here like that i've got another buzzy thing in my room um, they seem to get trapped in my um, shutter for some reason oh, put glue on there should we stick this up there like that oh this is getting quite um, sticky I think sometimes they get quite warm don't they because it is warming up more now a little bit of glue just stick that oopsie daisy stick that over quite nice doesn't it what should we put on the bottom should I put a little bit of blue that will do I think that's oh oh it's that way round oh that's pretty isn't it oh I like that do we want all of it stick it over the top because I put that on upside down anyway let's just put this on gosh I've got glue everywhere stick you down let's turn this over a little bit of glue on there See, the nice thing about doing all these art jams it doesn't have to be you know perfect you can just stick things on which I just love oh I do like that daisy on there that looks great right another little something do you think we have enough on here just maybe I'll stick a piece one piece down. maybe we just stick it down down like that chop that piece off and stick it on there there we go perfect oh should we stick that piece on I should have gone the other way should have stuck the other piece over let's just stick that over like that lovely okay so which bit oh we could have it that way up and then the daisies are wrong that's okay right I think I'm going to doodle on that bit I think I'd like this bit let's fold that down that bit is the front and that can be the inside okay so we've got two to doodle on there did we have another one I've got another little one here and then I've got this lovely book page I do like these stencils I should have shown you the stencils actually but they are in my sink my bathroom sink at the moment soaking off actually I quite like this oh gosh I'm covered in bits and pieces I'm going to stick this on I'm going to make this one nice and simple just stick this down I hope you guys have had a lovely weekend 
um, a nice messy crafty weekend have you had or has it been have you not been able to get into your craft room this weekend just watching I'm going to just do that and then just fold that up I'm liking the folded up bits I'm thinking I might add some fabric bits to this journal should we have it this way like that there we go another little page perfect I'm going to pop this one there out of the way let's move these out so what shall we do now actually what I'm going to do I'm going to use this one let's just make sure that this is going to yeah that's fits in there perfect just to mean so this will sit I think I'm going to have it this way so this comes down let's see oh I like that I'm liking the um little bits of the sequin in there I think I might do it so it sort of does that where's the other one gone did I leave it inside there it is let's just sort of stagger them like that I think just so these two come out I'll probably forget that I wanted to do that by the time I've stuck them together like that and I think I might actually sew through there fabulous that's what we're going to do now on here I will do something in a minute I just want to do these not quite sure what I'm going to do on them but let's just do one at a time gosh all oh, fingers and thumbs shall we start with black shall we be right this is just this one is just just so in here so let's just do and it's quite runny this one let's just do some oh gosh this is dreadful flowers just like that just whatever you feel just do whatever you sort of feel that you can do don't have to do you can just do if you don't draw if you're not confident to draw sort of flowers or things like that you could just do shapes do what I mean like I did before we did the, the circles didn't we which I love doing just pop some circles around just willy-nilly round about like that we'll have some that side let's turn it and then I'll pop a few here I think you've got to be careful because this is going to be wet obviously and then we want to pop a little bit of something inside so we don't want it to blend too much and let's just do that what should we have this side shall we just have maybe I should have done that side first should we have something coming down like we did on the other one we could just just like this okay. there we go so that's gonna ooh, that's gonna come down like that perfect so let's just pop that to the side oh gosh I'm gonna make such a mess I think I've got sticky fingers okay what should we do on this one should we just have things that are going to come up like sort of grassy things well, it doesn't have to be grass because I don't have any green but I suppose it doesn't have to be green does it let's have them so they're coming up like that so just drawing with this lovely acrylic paint it's fun isn't it so see this doesn't have to be sort of leafy things like I said it can be sort of patterns can't it and we can sort of just do lines that are coming up 
you never know what you're going to sort of end up with when you do things like this. It's just what you feel. Look at that. Should I fill the whole thing in? Or should we just trying to get paint everywhere? Let's just follow this shape around. Maybe I'll go round to the back as well. We'll do the whole thing. What do you think? Random little flowers. I'm going to do some little, little circles. Then all we've got to do is sort of colour them in. Look a bit like grapes, don't they, on here? But this is our Sunday fun day of just doing, you know, arc making with acrylic. Look at that, the fab. Let's just follow this around. Actually, this is going to be quite nice. Now I'm going to, I don't want to dip my fingers in it because it's going to be wet. So I need to hold that down. Just do this. There we go. I'm not sure how we're going to colour this in. There we go. That's one. That looks quite good, doesn't it? I think they were quite nice with a little bit of painting. Right, last one. I think I'm going to make this one a little bit easier. So let's just do. Are we going to do this side or this side? This side, I think. Let's do another, just another big flower. Like that. There we go. we go perfect one big flower on there and then maybe I'll just do another one we'll have just two big flowers on there like that perfect lovely look at that super simple okay that's our black done, I think. So let's pop that one there. Oh my gosh, I've just flipped it upside down. Oh, that's okay. Phew. I'll just push that in. Okay, what should we have? Should we have this lovely pink? Now this pink, pink, pink is this pastel acrylic, acrylic pastel one, which I've just decanted into here. So let's just see. All I'm going to do is just paint in like this they don't all have to be the same colour but I think they look nice I'm going to pop a little blob in the middle there now these will take a little while to um, dry but I think they're going to be fun fun little um, covers aren't they or a little journal a little arty journal turn them in this way these little bottles that I'm using I'll pop a link um, under the video I think these are the ones that I got from Amazon but I'll pop the link so you can have a look I got quite a great big bundle of them and I'm not sure I think they're only like 10 mils or something in here but I will definitely um, pop the link down underneath so you can have a look. Right, oops. Shall we make these look a bit grapey? What do you think if I do them in purple? Oops, you're coming out. There we go. There we go. 
these are very easy to use as well which is nice that's that one should we have this is a nice creamy one which one did I put in here this is just the um, antique white that's in here so let's just Oh, you're coming out. A bit here. Might be best. I quite like, I don't mind if it's sort of like mixes too much, but you could do these and then do another sort of colour afterwards when they're sort of dry. Pop a few little, a few little dots here and there. Another little blob in the middle of that pink. There we go. Now I'm going to use white. So this is just white titanium acrylic paint on here. Oops, what's on there? got my sequins I think sequins would look nice or little beads even on there wouldn't they oh sticky fingers I'm gonna have blue leaves I'm gonna have some blue leaves because I haven't put green in any of these not that it really matters does it oh I like this blue So yeah, I think I will finish this video off tomorrow. Probably have a part two of this one. I do like that. Oh, I like the blue. Oh gosh. I do like the blue. I think I might just put a few little blue bits on this side. Not that you can really see them over there. Quite nice because the paints that I've used are the paints that are actually on some of these jelly prints anyway. Okay, there we go. I'm going to pop that one to the side. I think it's my mat that's a bit um, sticky. That's why. Oh, look at this one. Okay, let's just random this one, shall we? I don't have to colour it all in, but it is fun. This one. I don't mean you don't have to colour it all in. Just little lines. Oh gosh. Oh look at the mess. Wonder what these will be like if I scanned them in. They might make quite nice little journal cards, wouldn't they? Which way? I'll just turn it this way. Okay, that's enough of the blue. Pop the lid on. Should we go in with a little bit of the purple? This is quite dark. This comes out. Shake it down. I haven't added any water into any of these. Oops. But I suppose you could probably water them down a little bit. But you don't want them too, too thin. Oops, shake it. It's not coming out as well. They might need sort of like popping upside down. Perfect. We got a bit of pink, a little bit of pink in our little little circles oops this one's runnier oh 
Oh, fun. This is fun. It's my glue lid. We don't want that, do we? I like this. What else should we do? Let's go in with the creamy colour. Go in with the antique white. You're going to come out? Almost looks yellow, doesn't it, on here? Oh, oops. Gosh, I'm going to be covered in paint by the time I go out today. have to get in a little bit of crafting before we go out I do like that now what I'm going to do I don't know whether I've got any sequins here I did have because I was using these the other day wasn't I where's my tweezers Pop a little sequin on there I don't think did I have my little bowl here of sequins and bits. Let's take a few of these just while the paint is wet. I'm not sure about that one because I think that's in the middle. Let's take that off there. Pop it on that one. It's not going to stay. Oh, I like this. Oops. Do you think they will stay in the paint? Should do, shouldn't they? There we go. I'm not going to use all of them. But I would like to put one in the middle of these. Let's take this one. Oops, where's it gone? There it is. Gosh. Can't pick it up. Do you think a little bead would go? Do you think that would stay in that paint? We will find out, won't we? I might pop a little bit of white in this one. Just so I can stick one of these on. Perfect. Look at that. I was wondering whether that's going to be strong enough. We will find out, won't we? Gosh, this is nice, messy play today. What should we do with these ones? I think I might just have these black and white. Well, we've got the pink in there anyway, haven't we? So I might just. these like this there we go we don't want them all completely filled in I think it'll be easier when they're drier to um, move them about. There we go. I'm going to use a little bit of this just to go. Oops. Just around this bit. Oh, I love these. This is great fun. So if you've got some of these little bottles, it's worth putting some paint in. There we go. Should we put anything in the middle? I think maybe we should. Maybe we should pop, where's my tweezers? A little one of these, just so it goes with the rest. 
There we go. And then in our next video, I will sew around the outside. So they should be dry by then. And then maybe we can just add a few more bits and pieces to them. But loving the colours, absolutely loving the colours. I'm just going to quickly pop the lids on like that. Is that one on? Oh, no, I've got black paint. Gosh, what a mess. What a mess. Fabulous. So I've got the antique white, I've got titanium white, I've got the purple, which was. Where's my little purple pot? This is brilliant purple. So that's called brilliant purple. And then we have got the sky blue, which is this one. And then I've just got the pink, which is just pink, I think. Which one's this one? Light pink. This is just light pink. So that's the colours that I've got. So these are lovely and messy. I, I like this one on the packaging. So there we go, guys. That is four little pages. I might even make individual little notebooks. We shall see. Let's see how they come out. So we'll let them dry and then tomorrow or maybe later on today, if I'm back, I will um, sew around the outside of these um, and see what they look like. Fab. So let's pop those to the side because I was going to do one on here, wasn't I? I'm loving this flower. I do like that one. So maybe I'll do one of those. Let's do that quick, shall we? That's a fun one, but I'm going to just do it more like this. Nice, super simple flower. super duper we could have something coming up through there couldn't we love them love 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 where's a white a nice white go around don't have to be artistic to do any of these at all Look a bit like eyelashes, don't they? Oops. Blow on there. What should we do? I think that's probably it. The other one had <coughs> a lot, a sort of a pinker background to it, didn't it? So it's just, just a little bit. through here now this really is a good play today but I'm loving these in the in the little bottles I think they look great so, so I do a few little I do like my dots Is that little pocket pocket there as well okay let's hope this dries nicely Um, and then we can add a few more bits and pieces to them. Okay, fab. Nice mess. A nice messy one, but lovely. So there we go, guys. That is drawing with acrylic paint today. So that was a fun one. I've got paint everywhere. Not sure whether I'm going to fit all of these in, but love them. So there we go. I will come back and we will finish this off um, tomorrow. So have a lovely, lovely rest of the day. Take care, stay safe. Don't forget, have a little play um, and I will see you soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.